Hello, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Land. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about Arrhenius equation, the most amazing topic from chemical kinetics. Definitely for sure short for coming NEET examination, you are going to expect a at least one question from this Arrhenius equation, temperature dependence on the rate of a chemical equation, NCRT based NEET examination preparation series. So, before going for this today's topic, we are just want to discuss about India's largest scholarship test examination, score examination. This score examination is India's largest scholarship exam. Why it is said? Because it is offering scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and also study setup and laptop and also educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship on the depending upon the course that you are going to opt. And while late in the description box, the link is available. Everybody, please click on that link and enroll into your score examination. This is absolutely online examination. You can sit at your home and you can write this score examination. All the best, Bacho, and enjoy this score examination. And one more important thing, uh, Infinity Learn is offering NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack. Whatever you are preparing, whatever you are studying, you have to assess where exactly you are in. So, for that, you have to assessment for a test series pack design. You have to test series pack. You have to get 27 AITS, 13 unit test, 4 part test, and 10 grand test. And also, it is absolutely based on neat preparation and 20 online NEET examination, full syllabus mock test and also 25 NEET topic wise EPYQs, previous year questions and 3 physics chemistry books along with video solutions available on the app and also detailed solutions and performance reports for every test and also benchmarking with Sri Chaitanya students. Are itna sare facilities baut sasta mein aapka kaun dega? Infinity Learn is giving. Its cost is around 5,999. And in this huge demand from the students and limited time offer, Infinity Learn is giving you 2,999, 50% off. When you apply coupon code YouTube 50 off, now you will get 2999. While it, it is there in the link in the description box. You Everybody, please click on it and you just enroll the special discount and enjoy AITA test series from the Infinity Lane. So, your assessment is perfectly given. And also, we are starting Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius equation is a very important equation. And this equation gives you temperature dependent on the rate constant. So, some reactions are slow at low temperature. The same reaction may be fast at high temperature. Why the temperature increases, the rate of reaction increases is given by Arrhenius. And it is K is equal to A exponent Ea by Rt. So, what is K here? K is here rate constant. It is a specific rate constant is a measure of a speed of reaction and A is Arrhenius frequency factor and Ea is activation energy. The minimum amount of energy that required to proceed the reaction to react and is converted into product. So, when a reaction is going on, so the energy, potential energy and the reaction progress is given and the reactant should reach certain minimum amount of energy to convert into the product. So, to reach that energy, some amount of energy that need to be given that is called activation energy. That activation energy upon RT, R is a gas constant, T is a temperature in Kelvin. So, we can calculate, you are asked to calculate K over here. You may be asked to calculate activation energy. You may be asked to calculate temperature from this equation. So, let us explore what is the application of this Arrhenius equation. Concept under 10 minutes, you are going to be awesome after this session. You just see the graph. You can see K is equal to Arrhenius constant exponent Ea by Rt. So, you can write ln K is equal to ln Ea minus Ea by Rt. So, that can be written as ln k is equal to minus Ea 
upon on 1 by t plus ln a. So, this equation appears to be as if y is equal to mx plus b. So, I just want to say it is going to be a straight line and it is given as a negative, it is going to be a, a negative slope between ln k versus 1 by t, you are going to get a negative slope, straight line with a negative slope and intercept of ln a and slope is going to be minus a by r and this particular graph is very very important you are going to give you the slope you will be asked to calculate activation energy and how do you calculate that the same you are going to take a log k versus 1 by t then also you are going to get a straight line and the slope is going to be minus ea by 2.303 r from this slope expression you will be given a slope in the examination you are asked to calculate activation energy that is more prone question for the neat examination minded and also Arihina's equation has number of applications like in that first one you can see determination of activation energy so the determination of activation energy i already mentioned k is equal to a exponent of ea by rt so you will be given this slope for this and activation energy can be calculated so arihina's equation can go and uh, introspect about how much activation energy is required to, to proceed the reaction and also the predicting the rate of a reaction at a given temperature so a reaction is conducted at temperature t1 another reaction is conducted the same reaction is conducted with the temperature t2 so let us calculate k1 at this temperature t1 and let us calculate k2 at temperature t2 by comparing this t1 and t2 you can uh, calculate the k1 and k2 and this is very important understanding the temperature dependence that's what i just want to say k is equal to a exponent of a by rt we can say ln k is equal to ln a minus ea by rt so at temperature t1 ln k1 is equal to ln a minus ea by rt1 at temperature t1 and k1 and ln k2 is equal to ln a minus ea by rt2 so at t1 temperature k1 at t2 temperature k2 comparing these two ln k2 by k1 log a minus b and it is log a by b so it's going to be ea by r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 on simplification you can say that it is a natural logarithm is converted into logarithm to the base 10 ln k2 log k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303 r of 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 otherwise you can take in the simplest way it is log k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303 r t2 minus t1 upon t1 minus t2 so based on this you are going to expect a question so the three areas where you are expected a question direct slope will be given you are asked to calculate activation energy or otherwise at two temperature values in the kelvin will be given rate constant ratios you can calculate and one rate constant will be given another rate constant can be calculated otherwise you will be asking third variety of question based on ncrt based neat examination that is about uh, the activation energy of the reaction 2 hi gives us h2 plus i2 at 209.5 kil kilojoule per mole at 581 kelvin calculate the fraction of molecules of reactants having equal or greater than the activation energy that's very important you can say we know that we know that ln k is equal to ln a minus e a by r t so ln k by a is equal to minus e a by r t this ratio no this is the ratio it is given and that is the fraction so k by a is a fraction that fraction of molecule equal or greater than activation energy so that ln k by a is given as ln x is equal to minus e by rt so this is one model you just solve the x value x is equal to exponent e by rt 
log x is equal to minus e by 2.303 rt put all the values activation energy is given 209.5 multiplied with 1000 and 2.303 r value amesa 8.314 istemal karo temperature 581 question mein diya gaya and if you solve it you are going to get x is equal to minus 18.8 and taking the anti logarithm for that it is going to be plus 1 and minus 1 the range comes to be 10 to the power of minus 19 that is the fraction of molecules you are going to see you need not have to calculate this in a cross appropriately you can just say it is an anti log 10 to the power of 18 right so 10 to the power of minus 19 ho jayega so like that you are going to get three models of question i told you slope is given activation energy is calculated another one t1 t2 k1 k2 relation is given in the previous slide and this is the fraction of molecule three areas of the question you are going to get from the ncrt based neat examination today we learn about activation energy and arrhenius equation and how the questions can be asked based on arrhenius equation and in this neat rapid 10 minutes concept series is there and every day i am come up with one important topic for your better preparation of neat examination hope you like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you thank you very much